check this out. I'm going to add the survey calls to this boundary that I created. And uh, the first thing that I need to do to make this as simple as possible is to combine all these lines into one continuous closed polyline. Now you could easily go to the Home tab and then to the Modify tab and pick up this uh, uh, Edit Polyline or you could simply just type in PE on the command line and then type in M for multiple. I'm going to grab all of them press enter. Yes. Uh, convert lines and arcs uh, to polylines. Yes. And then I'm going to type in J for join. And then it does a fuzz factor. So if their lines are separated by a certain distance, um, it'll still join them. I'm going to leave mine at zero. And there it is. I have a um, closed polyline. So what I'm going to do next is simply go up to my annotate tab and over here you'll see labels and ta uh, tables I can add my line labels and I can do individual lines or I can do this one here add multiple segments so if I add multiple segments I pick that once and there they go it adds all the uh, callouts for those lines uh, with their bearings and distances. Now, if you wanted additional information on here or this was uh, too much uh, precision, um, you could easily change that and just grip that object, that label, right click, and go to Edit Label Style. And you'll notice that this uh, dialog comes up. And you can go in here and do Edit Current Selection. Now, you could pick already created. Uh, label styles here but for this exercise we're just going to go ahead and edit the one that we have and let's say we wanted to change the uh, distance precision you could pick the from from the different objects that are within this this uh, label style and one being the bearing distance or table tag but for this exercise I'm just going to pick the distance and you'll notice down here on the text um, portion of here you can pick this ellipse and another dialog pops up. Now this is tricky. If you highlight this, it'll show you what is being added over here. So if you could pick from a list of different things here, but what I'm going to do is just change the precision. I'm going to change it down to hundredths. And then you have to shove it back over here by pushing this little arrow button. If you don't do that, it won't hold. So we say OK. And then we say Apply. Say OK. Okay, and all of your your uh, bearings or your distances change the precision. Now this one's a little unique. I've got um, an added thing in here. If you don't want it, you just type you know erase that uh, little object. The other thing is is that um, you'll notice down here this is a little crowded. If I wanted to uh, drag that off, I just grip it, pick the little box, and I could drag it off. There's a drag state also within that. Um, label style and you'll notice if I grip it right click uh, edit label style you'll you'll see that um, there's a drag state tab here so you'll notice right now as it's labeling the line like the text height is 0.15 but my drag state text height is 0.1 so when it drags off of that line the text height changes now the other thing is is that you've just dragged that off and you decided well I don't I want that to be back there if you grip it again right click you can uh, reset your label and it'll go right back to where it was before the next thing that that we need to do or take a look at is um, labeling these little segments instead of doing a drag you know dragging it off um, we can create a table and to do that you simply pick this uh, under your annotate ribbon your add tables I can go ahead and do lines and curves and uh, do a segment table and then I want to go to this little button here no tags are selected so if I go here I can go around and pick the different little segments that I want to do a uh, line tag on and it's this uh, warning comes up convert all yes and then I simply go in and say okay now it's gone and converted those all to line tags and added them to a table. 
rate my video, subscribe. Talk to you later.